Hey guys, welcome to my basement. Um, comic Book Uno, the great Comic Book Uno, who does so many great videos every week, uh, tagged me for a set of ten questions about mainstream comics. Uh, so my understanding is I should be, it's a bunch of favorites and least favorites and things like that, should be answering in terms of Marvel and DC comics, uh, which I've been cutting out of my list more and more lately, but I still read plenty of them and have plenty of thoughts about them. So it's a lot of fun to answer these questions. Um, and uh, when I get a chance I'll list the ten questions below and at the end of the video I am going to tag three people, which is part of, part of the thing, I guess. Um, first question is, what's your favorite ongoing one hero comic? And I could choose so many, actually. Um, I think I'll choose Wonder Woman because of its consistent high quality for the past 26 issues. So that's really ongoing, <laughs> an ongoing favorite. Um, what's your favorite team book? And I think of myself as not liking team books, but I, I, when I was asked, I thought, immediately thought of FF. And then I thought, well, maybe this is going to become my favorite team book when FF goes away. So, because FF, I think, just has one or two issues left. Um, I hope I'm wrong about that, because I would love more FF. You, you know, it's got the unique art, a unique take on the team book with this large group of kids in the future foundation. Um, it's just a lot of fun. So, then the next question is... Um, Who's your favorite hero? And a comic book Uno took all of this to be your favorite current hero in current comics. So I'm going to pick uh, Swamp Thing. I hope that's still within the mainstream. I mean, it is DC. So um, who's your favorite villain? My favorite villain of all time might be Doctor Doom. I could pick him. I mean, after all, he's the villain in the FF. I feel like there's someone else, but, um, okay, anyway, uh, oh, the ever-favorite DC or Marvel, um, like many people, Marvel was my first love, and it's hard not to say them, but they're not, I'm not crazy about Marvel right now, and I, DC has a lot more stuff that, for whatever reason, for mainstream comics, I find compelling, um, your favorite event. Now here, favorite event, I really do try to avoid events and I, when I get sucked into them, I always regret it. Um, so I haven't read that many events um, and most of them would, would go as my least favorite event. So I think my favorite event would have to be um, Rot World, which I enjoyed for most of it but got kind of bored of it after a while also, or impatient with it, and then a little disappointed with it at the end. Um, but still, overall, it was, a, it was a fun read with lots of cool imaginative stuff in it. And I think it ended in 2013. Um, so that's the closest to my favorite event. Um, your least favorite book. And there I take it to be your least favorite book that you're actually following. Because, um, you know... Something I'm not reading might be my least favorite book, and I'm not reading it for that reason. Um, so my least favorite book is um, that I'm reading is probably Pretty Deadly, but it has some of my favorite artwork. And maybe it'll change. Maybe I, it'll become my favorite book in another couple of issues. Um, or maybe I won't be reading it after another couple of issues. We'll see. Um, book you read that others hate. The first one that pops to mind is Phantom Stranger, which really annoyed me when it first came out. Um, but so many of my uh, YouTube friends, it's got a, a very split, a split, uh, a split on YouTube, let's say. People hating it, people really loving it. I feel um, ambiguous on it, um, but I keep reading it there's something about it that's interesting. So, did I say the title? Phantom Stranger. 
Um, you know, there's even people talking about who love it, who talk about the Phantom St Stranger train. Um, and uh, anyway, so that's, I think, the book that people hate that I enjoy reading. Um, least favorite event. Uh, all of them. <laughs> uh, that I've read recently would have to be all new X-Men, not all, sorry, the Battle of the Atom. Um, and it's, it kind of was okay, interesting, but dragged out. It could have been two issues at the most, um, and that's all it really deserved. And it, one reason why I hate it is because it's turned all new X-Men, uh, Brian M Michael Bendis' all new X-Men from one of my favorite books to one of my least favorite that I'm still reading. I could have listed it as least favorite, I suppose, instead of Pretty Deadly. But, um, yeah, it really just sort of, I just suddenly felt bored with the whole Bendis X-Men approach, whereas before I thought it was amazing and cool. So that event really soured things for me. And a lot of events kind of pull, you know, I could say, one of my least favorite events is the Zero Year thing. Not that I... I haven't read Batman Zero Year yet. I'm going to read it in trade. But what it did to the other books that it crossed over with. Um, but, but I think the biggest one for me is... Because um, I actually read it. Was, was um, Battle of the Atom. <clears throat> okay. And then the final question, number 10, is... Favorite comic book jail? And um, I'd have to go with with uh, The Phantom Zone. I mean, that is a cool, cool way to get rid of your criminals. Um, although there's a lot of cool ones. I felt like The Raft was kind of cool. I felt when, they, when Marvel was putting villains or other people in the negative zone, that was a cool idea. And, of course, Arkham Asylum is cool. Um, although I always have a little trouble buying into Arkham Asylum. It's just too crazy. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, but the Phantom Zone is so cool. And, you know, like in the movies where they sew the shards of the Phantom Zone flying through space and stuff. That's just so cool. So, I'm going to tag three people. Um... And once again, I want to thank Comic Book Uno for tagging me and thank her for all her great videos. I'm going to tag J.J. Sparrows, Spiros, who has uh, just started doing reviews again after a hiatus of three months, five months. I'm not sure how long. A uh, very good reviewer, undersubscribed, I believe. Um, and then I'm going to tag R. Dowdy, the great legend, Rob. I want to hear all of your favorites and least favorites. And finally, uh, someone who hasn't made many videos but appears a lot on Comic Book Roundtable, I'd love to hear what her favorites and least favorites amongst the mainstream comics are. A comic book girl, Jen. So I tag all three of you. I hope you'll be able to, um, to answer these questions. And I'll, I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.